When it's time to change the oil in our suspensions, either for maintenance or because an oil seal has broken, the question arises, which oil should I use? If you have, or have had this doubt at some point, keep quiet and we will explain to you. First of all, you should know that motorcycle manufacturers do not make oil, neither engine oil or suspension oil. So if you see an oil bottle as whatever brand, uh, 01M, it's actually a product made by a third party, but labeled by the brand. For example, this oil is uh, labeled by Kawasaki, is a G10, but in fact this is a Kayaba oil, not a Kawasaki one. If you can find that particular oil, then you can use a different brand, but equivalent. And here comes the problem. Just as the viscosity of motor oils is standardized by the Psi figures, which is actually a range of viscosities, in suspension oils the acronym Psi is used, but each manufacturer puts what they think and creates their own scale. This means that not two oils let's say a, a say five, from different manufacturers will ever be the same. So, for example, this is a MotorX 4BW, but in this case it's not the same as a, for example, Kayaba Psy 5. So, how do we find the equivalent? Well, by looking at the kinematic viscosity, which you can find measured in CST, it's uh, centistokes, or millimeters squared per second at 40 degrees. You will find this technical data in the safety data sheet that manufacturers are uh, obliged to supply, although some seem to find it difficult to post it on their own websites. So maybe these materials are difficult to find by you if you enter into the manufacturer website. Well, then well do I stop comparing oils by size number? Yes. Definitively yes, forget it. From now on, oils are compared by viscosity. Viscosity, not density. I die every time I hear someone referring to viscosity as density, and I can explain it to you. Density is a ratio of weight to volume. For example, one liter of water weights one kilogram. A liter of petrol weights 700 grams. That's density. Viscosity is the resistance of a liquid to flow and it's related to the internal friction of the own liquid and temperature has an, an effect, which is why they're always measured at 40 degrees, uh, maybe you also can find it at 100 degrees, as a reference temperature. Okay, we don't even mention Psi. Where does it say viscosity on the bottle? Why doesn't the person who sells me the oil know this viscosity. Well, uh, at some point, some manufacturers started to show the viscosity on the levels of the bottles. So, for example, this is a Showa rear shock oil and it has 3.63 CST at 40 degree. All Holins uh, oils do have the viscosity on the front level. This is 40 CST. And for example, MotorX, it's not on the front level, but at the back, you can find it. It's full weight, 16 CST. Other brands indicated on their websites, and uh, for another manufacturer, it looks like it's the secret of the holy grain. Always look for the MSDS. Um, Google MSDS plus the name of the oil. And which oil is better? Well, there's another feature which is the viscosity index. It should be uh, between 1 and 100 percent, but you can find manufacturers showing um, values above 300. The viscosity index uh, indicates how stable the oil is to temperature changes, because oils, as far as you know, change their viscosity in relation to the temperature. So, a more stable oil, higher viscosity index, will be more predictable in reactions. 
And which brand do I recommend? Well, none in particular. The only thing I usually recommend is a recognized brand of suspension oils and about oils from engine oil manufacturers, even if you know they come from the same refinery. They are not the same. Suspension manufacturers spend years and years developing oils and additives, which are, at the end, what uh, the difference in, in oil, all these additives. So, remember that oil manufacturers are dedicated to it and come on, not to a wide range of products. By this, I don't mean that Shell or Elf, for example, suspension oils are not good quality. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if you ask me, I will tell you, use a uh, Manu uh, suspension manufacturers oil, just a Showa, Kayaba, Motorex, Hollins, VP, Racetech, or any kind of this. And can I improve my fork by changing the viscosity? Well, yes and no. Remember, and if you don't know already, I will tell you that the oil does not define the hardness of the fork, only the speed. And I would only recommend changing the viscosity in open cartridge forks, like the ones used in scooters, for example. If the front end moves like your grandma's pudding, look for the original viscosity, for example, 20 CST, and increase it in more or less 10 CST. So look for a 30 CST front fork oil. In closed cartridge forks, BPFs, pressurize or whatever that doesn't have an upper cartridge inside, I don't recommend changing the viscosity because if you do, the low speed circuit collapses sooner and if you decrease it, it takes longer to open the high speed circuit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have on our website the Geometry and Suspensions Adjustment Book where we explain this and much more than for sure is of your interest. So keep the viscosity and you, if you can find 100% equivalent oil, move two CSTs up, up and or down, not more. But ah, I know that looking for that is uh, quite a hard work. So you are lucky, in the description of the video we leave a list of suspensions oils, in fact is a hyperlink to our website where we have a list of oils sorted by viscosity, so you can make a quick and easy and accurate query. And as always, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. See you!